Hi Femos here. Today I'm just doing a quick test. Uh, I'm gonna use Chainsaw to kill her. Just for the comparison to yesterday's anti armor auto axe, not this one though. This, uh, this one. Anti armor damage standing still. And the Chainsaw also has anti armor damage standing still. But today, this this is gonna just be a quick test. I'm not gonna explain everything because I did it yesterday. So if you haven't watched uh, yesterday's video, I put the link down below in the description. So there's just a little difference, I guess, between this weapon, chainsaw, and the auto axe because it has like very similar damage if you see about it. And the chainsaw is on the lower side, it has slightly less damage. And this one has uh, split damage because I put the flamer mod for it. And I, I can bleed with it because of the longbow bar on top of the thorn armor blitz. But Auto X actually also has mods as well, but only one mod. So I, I think you cannot put like split your damage and bleed at the same time. You can only choose split or you can only choose uh, split damage I guess and I think anti-armor is very good for split damage so yeah let's see but just to be fair let's say I I'm not sure what's the result that I will get but if chainsaw is better keep in mind that the auto axe that I used yesterday still has no mod in it so yeah All right, let's begin. Liquid Courage, Red Shield, Wish Key, Psycho Buff. Oops, lagging. Should be 55. Oh, what? Oh, okay, just need, need to readjust my health. It's 55. My health is around 35%, just like yesterday. Perfect. Let's go. 70 damage? It's really similar. Auto X was like 17 and then goes up to 19. I think this one is slightly lower damage. About 2 damage, 2 points damage lower. That's not bad. And I think the bonus damage while standing still seems like only adds up 1 damage, 1 point of damage. And that. I'm not even sure because the damage number is really low. It could be Tenderizer, it could be something else. Until now I can see only 16, 15, 17. So yeah, it's I can confirm it's just about 2 damage lower. It could be a great news. So you can choose which one based on visual. Like if you prefer the shape of chainsaw, you can choose chainsaw. If you like auto axe more, you choose auto axe. Not sure about boss blade. Maybe I'm. I need to test that. Let me know what you think about that. If you want me to test it on Earl, I will do it. Cause it's on Fallout Wars anyway. I can roll any weapons unlimited times. Also in public server situation. You should be able to get better results, whether with Chainsaw and Auto Axe, because you can activate taking one for the team. So you should be doing more damage than 17, 18. It probably could reach 20, sub 20. And I don't know if Thorn Armor stacks between players, like for example, two players will give enemies to stack of Thorn. I doubt it. It could. It probably just will bleed only from one player. So, if if it's like five uh, thorn armor user versus five uh, power armor with shredder, 
I bet the power armor with Shredder will win. But if uh, Thorn armor effect stacks in between player, it will be crazy, but I doubt it. If you know something about it, please let me know in the comments below. Alright, I will die. 2 minutes, 38 seconds. Surprisingly faster than yesterday's auto X. Could be uh, because I perform better at doing this. Could be because of the bleed damage. I think the margin between time between auto X and this weapon is too low to take a conclusion. Which one better? So I guess they are about the same. Which is pretty great. I hope that they add a crafting option for the auto X mod inside the crafting bench so I can test it out without needing to grind the expedition. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and have a good day.